Hi, my name is Kanisha Leggett, and I'm here to talk about a possible intervention for Temple Grandin, who has life experience with Asperger's syndrome. Temple appears to have her ADL and IADL skills under control. However, what I have noticed is that she has difficulty with behavior modification, um, regulating her outbursts and handling stress, as well as she has some issues with her social interaction. So my intervention for her would be two part. One, the performance skills that we would be looking at. Um, performance skills are broken down into motor processing and social skills. Her motor skills appear to be fine, so we would address some of the processing skills as well as some of the social skills. Her initiation, noticing, responding, adapting to situations, her understanding and use of gestures, her looking at someone when she's speaking to them, remembering to thank people, her ability to regulate her emotions and show appropriate emotions, as well as looking at the way she disagrees and if she can handle a disagreement during a conversation, as well as how she accommodates and how she approaches people. Next, we would look at her client skills. The client skills I would be looking at would be her conversation skills, her gesture skills, her coping skills, and again, her behavior regulation skills, her ability to control her responses during stressful or anxiety um, outbursts. Lastly, we would talk about the occupation that we would be addressing. So to me, the occupation that would be addressed would be her social interaction. And the reason I say I would do a two-part intervention would be because one portion would be to address helping her to regulate her outburst or her anxiety or her reaction to anxiety or stressful situations in order to be able to socially interact appropriately. So for me, my suggestions for Temple would be, one, let's find a way to be in a situation of stress and not result um, in going back to the machine, but finding some ways that would be, we could make portable to help her deal with some of the anxiety ways of helping her to relax. So utilizing some relaxation techniques and then once we've utilized those, finding a way to help incorporate that back into the social um, occupation as far as her interaction. So then we would also work on her being able to interact appropriately with clients. So for me, I would start with the relaxation. We could start with breathing where I would have her close her eyes and go through a few stretches and deep breathing, um, as well as I could use sounds such as from Alexa, requesting Alexa to play sounds that she finds relaxing. It may not necessarily be the sounds of water or calming nature sounds. It might be the sounds of the cows because that seems to help her relax. So we could pre-record some cows um, and have her play that during moments of stress. The other thing that I thought about that would also be portable is what I have here is a weighted blanket. And when she felt like she needed that deep pressure, she could then wrap that blanket around her in order to provide some deep pressure and sensory input in order to help bring her down while those sounds are playing in the background. The other intervention I would incorporate for Temple would be some role play. Now, when we met for our sessions, Temple and I would go through role play of how she would approach someone that she doesn't know and begin a conversation or an introduction of herself or how she would respond if someone else approached her that she didn't know and how she could respond and learn to understand the gestures, 
um, and verbal cues that are provided during a conversation in order to help relax her and bring down some of the anxiety. That way she doesn't feel overwhelmed. The way I could upgrade or downgrade the relaxation and the weighted blanket would be to one, I could start with the deep breathing, slowly progress to her taking on listening to the sounds and then slowly progress to the weighted blanket. And then if we still needed to upgrade a little more or downgrade a little more, we could bring in um, utilizing her machine. The way I would upgrade and downgrade the role play would be initially we would begin with myself and just going back and forth between Temple and myself. Once she had become comfortable and I felt as though she was understanding not only my verbal communication, but my nonverbal, we could progress to her interacting with another person. Once that was doing well, then we could move to possibly a control group. And after she was showing success in that area, we could move to a community setting. It could still be small and controlled, but just with it like four to five people. So that's how I would upgrade and downgrade my intervention. Those are the two that I would incorporate in order for her to be successful in the occupation of social interaction. Thank you again. My name is Kanisha Leggett and have a great evening.